Hey, 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 what is G here in Cali? Woohoo! Welcome to my daily health tip, guys. It's Friday. Woohoo! So, today's health tip I'm talking about these 13 food mistakes that even healthy people make. Woohoo! So, this is one of the article I'm sharing today. If you want to, I'm going to copy the article, go to my Healthy You page. The link is right below the description of the video and uh, grab it for yourself and take a look, guys. Ah. All right, so let's talk about 13 food mistakes that even healthy people make. All right. Woo. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday, guys. Let's get into it. Let's get, let's get excited today. Woo-hoo. Okay, so food fads. Kale, seaweed, goju, <clears throat> goji berries. When you hear about a food that curbs this disease or that condition, you might want to dive right into it. If some is good, <clears throat> more must be better right not so fast the right amount of the right types of food is great for you but if you overdo it or choose the wrong kinds it can backfire okay so since every good for you food has its limits focus on the big picture this helicopter's flying around my house what's going on okay too many brazil nuts Sil selenium is a nutrient <clears throat> that you need but only 55 milligram micrograms a selenium a day just one brazil nut has 68 to 91 <clears throat> micrograms that's more than a day's worth too much selenium can cause problems including diarrhea nausea skin rashes hair loss and even serious side effects like trouble breathing heart and kidney failure or heart attack adults shouldn't get more than 400 micrograms per day that's no more than four or five brazilian nuts <clears throat> if you don't get enough of selenium from, from anything else so Brazilian nuts, great, but, you, but again, you don't want to overdo it. Picking your own mushrooms. These wild and, and wooly fungi are tasty, loaded with nutrients, low calories, and may even lower your risk of cancer. But before you forage in your local forest, keep in mind that eating the wrong kind of mushrooms can lead to anything from upset stomach to death. So only, hurt, so only hunt for them if you're an expert or or are with one so who's who's out there hunting for mushrooms guys <laughs> i know i'm not but anyways so otherwise get them from your grocery store or safe so if you're gonna pick out your own mushrooms which i don't think most of us probably not doing that go with an expert or um you know someone someone knows what they knows what they're doing otherwise just go to the grocery store and get your mushrooms okay hey mary welcome we got mary is on welcome mary how you doing girl hope you're having a wonderful friday Woohoo! okay grapefruit plus certain meds this splashy citrus cause, could cause problems if you have prescriptions like uh, statins for your cholesterol. Grapefruit can make you make your body absorb more of the medicine than normal, which can lead to side effects. It may be more likely with more statins than others. And the same thing could happen with some drugs that treat other conditions. So if you're gaga, if you're gaga for grateful, which I'm not, I'm not a big grapefruit friend, but if you are, ask your doctor if it, if it will affect your medication. So if you like grapefruits, that's wonderful. However, it can affect your medication. So talk to your doctor first, okay, if you are taking medications. Greens and kidney stones. Just about everyone needs to eat more veggies. Dark leafy greens like spinach are some of the best. But if you tend to get kidney stones, you'll want to watch how much you eat. These greens have a lot of oxalate which cause kidney stones. If you're at risk, your doctor may recommend no more than 45, I'm sorry, 40 to 50 milligrams of oxalate a day. And half a cup of greens can have close to 10 milligrams of it. So you can have a couple of servings, but don't pack huge amounts into your green smoothie. So if you do have kidney stones, and that's a problem for you, um, again, you wanna check with your doctor with the greens to make sure it's okay if kidney stones is an issue, okay? So there we go. So this 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 is um, this is very informative. This is a great article. All right. So let's see what other things, what other healthy mistakes can we make here? Too much of the wrong fish. Fish are high in protein, low in saturated fats, and high in good fats your body needs. The catch: they absorb mercury. That's a problem for anyone, but 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 especially pregnant women because it can harm the baby's nervous system. Each week you can eat 12 ounces, about two meals of low mercury fish like shrimp, canned like tuna, or salmon. Avoid high mercury fish like king mackerel, orange um, roughy, shark, swordfish, and tallfish. So again, twice a week, the um, uh, experts recommend twice a week, you know, two of your meals weekly should consist of, of fish, 
again the, the the low mercury much better option right like salmon um shrimp or um uh, or tuna however if you are pregnant then uh you definitely want to talk to your doctor first because again of the mercury okay can you get too much water most days you likely don't drink enough of it which most of us don't it's not easy to get too much there are two main exceptions one is a mental health condition where you, where you, where you are a compulsive drink you know you drink water all day <laughs> the other is when you do a lot of hard exercise like marathons and you don't dunk too much instead of a sports drink so can you drink too much water not you know in a normal sense but if you if you do have a condition or some, some people have a compulsive um disorder to drink a lot of water then that could be an issue but i don't i think most of us don't have that issue most of us don't get enough water okay coconut oil overload most and more people have started to cook with coconut oil but many nut nutritionists are still skeptical why while coconut oil does have fats that boost your good cholesterol it's also bursting with saturated fat your best bet limit yourself the american heart association recommends no more than 13 grams of saturated fat a day and just one tablespoon of coconut oil gives you 11 of those so limit your coconut oil and also your saturated fats right so we're gonna keep we're gonna keep an eye on your saturated fats olive oil drip don't drown olive oil may actually be good for your heart but even the best fats are loaded with calories so limit yourself to two tablespoons a day or less, including what's in your food. If you overdo it, you can gain weight and that could offset the good you thought you were doing. So again, anything, we don't, wanna, we don't wanna take it overboard. So olive oil is great for us, but just don't overdo it with the olive oil, okay? So Mary, how you doing, girl? I hope you're um, getting a lot of value from, from today's video, guys. You can share the video with your friends. Go educate some of your peeps. That'll be awesome. Okay, potatoes, potatoes. Don't go green. Potatoes naturally have solaline, a substance that can make you sick if you eat too much. It's highest in the eye, sprouts, skin, and any green parts of the potato. Still, you don't have to eat a lot of potatoes before you have that problem. Okay, a person who weighs 100 pounds would need to eat one pound of completely green potatoes before getting sick, all right? But don't forget to remove the eyes, sprouts, green parts just to be on the safe side. So potatoes, you know, it's fine, you know, but again, if you, anything, if you do too much is a problem, right? So thanks for the emojis. Hey, hey Bernard, my cousin is on Bernard. Welcome, girl. Okay, night shades, night shades and joint pain. Potatoes, tomatoes, eggplants, and peppers are all night shades. They've gotten a bad rap because of soloing. Some say it causes joint, joint pain, but there's no, no research to back it up. In fact, yellow and purple potatoes may help with swelling, which causes, which, which will ease your pain. Still, you know your body best. You may be sensitive to some vegetables, so if they bother you, avoid them. So if the vegetables, you know, if that's an issue for you, then avoid them. But otherwise, we need to be eating more vegetables daily. That should be part of our, um, our diet. Max out on chocolate. It tastes great and has antioxidants and flavonoids which can help lower your blood pressure and protect your arteries. But there are limits. Go gourmet, lower quality chocolate usually won't have the flavonoids. Limit yourself to one ounce each day. Check the label of your bar to see how big it is. Stick to dark chocolate that's at least 70% co cocoa to avoid too much sugar and fat. So dark chocolate is healthy for us. We need to make sure it's, uh, it's got at least 70% of the, of the co um, cocoa, okay? And again, um, it's about limiting, right? We don't want to overdo it with the chocolate. But if you're going to eat chocolate, the dark chocolate is the best, okay? Which is great to know. We can still have our chocolate. Okay, overdoing the red wine. It may be good for your heart in small amounts. There are still questions, though, <clears throat> and health risk. It may be that eating grapes is just as good for you <clears throat> with none of the alcohol's side effects. So if you don't drink, experts don't recommend that you start. If you do, women and men over 65 can have one small glass, that's five ounces a day, and no other alcohol. Men under 65 can have two glasses. So us women, we can have one glass of wine a day, guys, two, two, um, two glasses, and that's it. If long, no, not includes, that's just, that's just the wine, that's not including other alcohol. So one glass a day to, for women, two glasses for men, that's it, guys, that's it, okay? So a better way. 
make it simple instead of obs obsessing over a single food fill half your plate with fruits and veggies split the other half between proteins and whole grains limit how much sugar salt and saturated fat you eat mix it up when you eat a variety of good for you foods you meet your needs and avoid overdoing it on any one thing so a better way is to mix it all up so your plate should consist of fruits veggies um you know half fruits veggies other half should consist of some form of um, lean protein fish lean meat okay that's ideally how we should eat and the portion size is critical so if you're trying to lose weight you got to cut back on your portion you can you can enjoy still enjoy the foods you love don't deprive yourself of the food you love but it's all about cutting back the portion make your you know start cutting back your your um your meals to smaller portions and still enjoy the foods you love okay that's the best way i think that i believe okay so i believe this was the last page yes it was